Greetings. Our text for today is Isaiah chapter 21, reading verse 11 and 12. And it says, And the burdens of Duma, and they came calling out of Seir, saying, Watchmen, tell us of the night. Watchmen, tell us of the night. Verse 12 says, And the watchmen said, The morning is coming, also the night. Go and inquire, go and inquire. These people, as they were asking the watchmen, first thing that we must, we must understand is that the watchmen, they will stand on the walls of Zion, calling and searching and looking upon the uh, surrounding of Zion to make sure that everyone is safe in the city. So as the people in the city would come and they would cry out to the watchmen saying, watchmen, tell us of the night. They were asking, what is happening during the night? They were asking, what is around us? Are we safe? Are we, can we go back and sleep? Are we safe? Are the enemies coming to approach us? But the watchman was able to say, the morning is coming. I can see the glimpse of the morning. But if we read in this text and if we try to exegesca it, we understand that this text is saying Saying that the people were asking because they were in oppression and the question was that can you tell us how long is our victory from how long are we supposed to be here because we have been here for too long therefore tell us you as a watchman tell us are we going to continue to be in captivity or we are going to be set free but the watchman says the morning is coming the victory your oppression is going to end but also remember the burdens of Duma they're going to continue to oppress you and they are going to continue to try to oppress you but the morning is coming but as watchmen the funny thing is that the watchmen of Zion are asleep they are asleep they are not watching as they are supposed to do they are doing their own things as Isaiah chapter 56 verse 10 says his watchmen are blind they are all ignorant but they are all dumb dogs lazy and loving to slumber the watchmen, they are not standing guard as they are supposed to do, but they are just doing their own things now to bring it back home. As watchmen of God, as we are called to be watchmen, we are supposed to tell the world, the world is crying out to us, watchmen, tell us when is Jesus coming. Tell us what the signs of his coming. But us as watchmen, we are busy, we are not praying as we ought to pray. Jesus tells us that we must watch and pray for we know not the hour but the people of the world as they are crying out of the world saying watchmen tell us of the night but the watchmen they are not able to tell the true testimony of Jesus Christ but Jesus is saying therefore ye my disciples you must watch and pray for ye know not the hour when the master will come but signs are foretelling that the moment is nearing but indeed we know not the hour. So watchmen, be faithful to the call. As watchmen, we are supposed to call to one another to make sure that everyone is safe, to make sure that things are run smoothly because we are called as watchmen. The people of the world, they are crying out during the time of a crisis. Where is the watchman? Is the watchman faithful during a time of a crisis or the watchman are sleeping? If the watchman sleeps, the people in the city, they are going to die because the watchman is not telling them to prepare them for war, to prepare them what is coming. But the watchmen, they stand on the walls of Zion. Because they are faithful watchmen, they are able to testify saying, there is an enemy approaching, therefore prepare. That's why the watchman says, go and inquire. Go and inquire. Go prepare yourself. Jesus is coming back again. A faithful watchman is able to tell the people that the signs are foretelling, but the moment is nearing. Therefore, watchmen, where are you in a time of a, of a crisis like this? Where are you? Are you going to stand guard and give a faithful testimony? as we live in this time. Amen.